comments from um, the last video to show y'all how insane some people can be. Now, I'm not talking about my ride or die subscribers who know Mr. Williams, who know how I react, who's patient, who let me make my mistakes and laugh and comment and have fun. I'm not talking about my ride or die subscribers who know Mr. Williams, okay? You know me from The Walking Dead. You know me from Breaking Bad. You know me from Game of Thrones. You know me from um, other reactions that I do, Invincible. I say a lot of shit and I get a lot of shit wrong, okay? And patience is the key, all right? But some, some of y'all are new and... Y'all get excited, and y'all just bum, bum rush Mr. Williams to be wrong, all right? I don't mind being wrong. I'm a big boy. Let me be wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's the joy of reactions when you get shit wrong, and people laugh, and, and let me read some of these comments, all right? Y'all check some of these crazy comments out, all right? A rotter don't mean a dog, man. She's her own person. Kim is the best character on the show. If you don't like Kim, just stop watching right now. Kim is definitely a rider. Keep watching. You'll see. Mr. Williams, she's a rider on her own terms. Not anyone else's. She's not a simp. <laughs> My man confused being a ride or die with being a obedient dog or robot. <laughs> She's a rider. Not stupid with her career. Kim does love Jimmy, but that doesn't necessarily mean she thinks he would make a good partner. Their styles are totally different. He cuts corners while she follows the law to the letter. She will have to turn a blind eye and put up with a lot of his shenanigans. Mr. Williams. Kim is everything that we hope Scholar would be. No skank in her name.
Okay. How can I put this? Um, if I don't know certain characters and whose side they own and what they're about their agenda I'm going to assume until it be revealed sometime it don't happen right away on the first season. Sometime it don't happen right away on the first couple of episodes. Sometime it takes the second season, maybe even the third season before certain characters are revealed in their agenda and whose side they're on, and, you know, what they're about, okay? I never said she was a rider for Saul or Jimmy. I don't know anything about Kim. The only thing I do know about Kim is what y'all have typed and told me that she's the greatest character on the show, and she's the rider, and she's not like Skylar, and she's not a skank, and she's the best character ever created in the Breaking Bad universe, and she's the sun, the moon, the stars, the heavens. She's like, she's better than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't know a goddamn thing about Kim, Yet, she worked in the mail room. No, scratch that. I thought she worked in the mail room, but she was down there partying with Saul because they was, I guess they was a couple. They was lovebirds back in the day. All right. She got her law degree before he did. And, you know, they stayed in contact, whatever. And she got hired on to the big firm. All right. I don't know anything else about Kim besides Saw and her are close. Nothing has been revealed to Mr. Williams that she's a writer. Okay? I know it now because you told me. Okay? So, going forward, I know Kim is a writer. Okay? Um... Do me a favor. Uh, let me figure this out, okay? It kind of takes the fun out of the reaction if I know what character is about before they be revealed. I know y'all saying she's a writer, but it's, it's taking the joy and the reaction away, okay? Now me knowing that she's a writer, now it's, it's like I know the character before I know the character, okay? Let me figure it out, okay? Let me figure it out. The same way I had to figure out Jesse, I didn't like Jesse, but as episodes and episodes and seasons came and went, came and went, I started to like Jesse because his character started to build. Okay? I didn't like Skinny P or Badger. Okay? Didn't like them. Thought they was just the biggest fuckboys on the show. But episodes came and went, came and went, came and went, and the, and the character build up, and their stories start to combine and and intertwine with Jesse and Walt and, and and learning how down they was with Jesse and, and how they was real riders. 
I came to that conclusion on my own. On my own. Okay? I didn't know Skylar was going to fuck her boss. I had to wait and watch her in action. You know what I'm saying? With Ted. And it was it was revealed to me. She fucked her boss. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't have guessed that shit. You know? Um, uh, I know y'all excited. I know when I say things and your favorite character pop up on screen, you want me to like them. You want Mr. Williams to like your favorite character. But I don't have to like your favorite character. Okay? Like, I didn't have to like Scholar. I don't have to like Scholar. Okay? I don't have to like who you like. I might not like him. I might like him. It depends. I don't know. I'm only in the first season. I haven't had that conclusion in my head. You can't force a conclusion to Mr. Williams. Okay? Mike. I didn't know anything about Mike. Okay? Uh, I had to watch him. And see how loyal he was to, to Gus. And whoever he worked with, he's loyal to him. And, you know, I had to figure it out. Going forward. Going forward. If your favorite character pops up on Saw, don't type something that haven't happened yet, okay? If it haven't happened yet, don't tell me, okay? All right? Get a good laugh out of Mr. Williams. Get a good laugh. Get a good chuckle. But if it haven't happened yet, don't type it. Don't tell me. This is not new to me. I go through this with every reaction I do. People get excited. And they just start telling me stuff that I shouldn't know. Okay? I be, I should not know she's a writer. I do not need to know that. Okay? But um, it is what it is. She's a writer. Okay? But I'm going to keep my eyes on her. All right? Let's start the show, y'all. Love y'all. Episode 9. Better call Saul. Coffee shoes. Like this. <clears throat> Chuck's outside. Feels good, right? Yeah. Grass between your toes. Feels nice. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck doing pretty good. But Jimmy love his brother. Healthy gums and no worms, no fleas. I promise you, if the little sucker has fleas, I'll I'll kick her butt myself. Yeah, it's just Aww. dog. Hey, it's good to have a dog around. You got that shit right. It's about breaking into a house with a dog. But if you decide to keep her, I got a giant bag of puppy chow out in the car for you. All the supplies, everything you need. Mike, you a good papa. What's that? The dog can stay here. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Got it. Hey, 
Is everything okay? Yeah, just a lead on a job opportunity. Paid for by the residents? But managed by licensed health aid professionals. Okay, one at a time, gentlemen. Mr. Schweikart. You're denying him access on what grounds? These assisted living residents have a daily routine that they're used to. And Mr. McGill, who is very loud and flamboyant, is a disturbance to these routines. Residents who want to see a lawyer, free to leave whenever they want. Leave whenever they want? We're talking about elderly and infirm people here. The most common phrase in this place, I've fallen and I can't get up. There's phone consultations, <laughs> there's mail and messenger services, there's plenty of other ways to confer with clients. But for residents who don't want to be afflicted with Mr. McGill, that lady still got their big ass drink. Of civil harassment. Wow, you are stretching that definition to its limit. And FYI, old people adore me. Okay, I've heard enough. I have enough here to let me rule on this restraining order. Attempting to stop a class from being certified on the grounds they're not competent to file. Oh, this is just the beginning. They're going to continue this document dump until we're drowning in paperwork. All right. We can deal with this. I mean, it, hey, it's, uh, it's just paperwork, right? It's no big deal. Just hit it head on. So a lot hit of it. paperwork. Prioritize. Uh, most important stuff first. Or is it better to... Uh, Deal with the easy stuff, you know, get that off the decks, and uh, you tell me, Chuck. I mean, just point to a box, we can do this. Jimmy, we need to talk. Chuck, sit down with me. No, I'm good. I know you're not gonna like what I have to say next, but facts are facts. And what we're facing here, a case this size, it is not a two-man job. We need help. No. And for the good of the clients, we need to refer this Don't case. say it. Don't say Refer it out <laughs> to HHN. <laughs> Chuck, no. Come on. We can do this. We're doing great on our own. Could two men alone build the Brooklyn Bridge? Maybe. But it would take forever. Got a Just point. how long do you think the residents of Sandpiper Crossing have? You got a point. Referring this case to HHM is for the good of the clients. That argument you won today against the restraining order. The judge was never going to grant that. Schweikert is throwing softballs. And he's going to keep on throwing them over and over, and we'll be so busy swatting them away, we'll never spend any time on the actual case. This case will span years, and we don't have the capital to carry it forward by ourselves. We simply don't. It makes a lot of sense. Oh shit, he back on that bullshit. What I tell you? He needs some help. This is exactly why. Look. Look. This motherfucker put some goddamn mittens on. What is he doing? Who is he calling? Captain Kirk? Yes, hello. No, it's me. Who the fuck did he call? Damn, Star, Star Trek Enterprise? Who in the fuck is that? Gonzo's cousin? So, look how little Mike is to this big motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this motherfucker is huge. Is that Simon? These people can't learn the lesson no matter how many times we teach it. Alexandria, Hilltop, Kingdom, these garbage rats, they're not seeming to understand the situation, not one little bit. We're still adjusting to the new system. We were gonna scavenge more today. If 
you just wait, we'll bring something back. We'll find more. <laughs> Relax. Not here for pickup. Good thing. Maybe you should be extra nice to those people in that RV, because you never know. Just like that. Be kind to each other. Like you said. Like it was your last day on Earth. So. That's Simon from The Walking Dead! What did our guy tell you about the job? Not much. It's a protection job. Civilian. Guys as green as they come, but... We'll be in there to make sure things fly right. Holy shit! You've been doing this long? I just assume we're all heavy hitters. I mean, it makes sense. The vet recommends the best of the best. Dealing with some of these ethnic types. Blood tends to run a little hotter. That's just science. Physiology. There's historical precedent. You know what I'm saying? So, what you packing? A pimento. Sorry, what? A what? Pimento sandwich. That's <laughs> funny. Did he say a pimento cheese sandwich? No, I mean, what are you carrying? You know, a piece? What's the make? Pimento is a cheese. They call it the caviar of the South. God so damn right, Mike! So be it, but you don't have to be a douche about it. Just I love pimento it. cheese sandwich. How are you here without a gun? You have a gun? Yeah. Yeah, of course, he's got a gun. I got at least two guns on me that I'll tell you about. I go old school to Wilson Combat 1911. I got a Glock 22 Gen 3. And those are just the ones I'll tell you about. Mm. Fucking Simon and Mike. What the hell? Really? I didn't unpack a gun. So they, okay. They're, they're there to, to do a job together, right? Is this where they work? Who the fuck? Who uh, the fuck is this? Uh, my name is Price. Um, actually, that's not my name. But uh, I have a nephew named Price. I've always kind of liked that name. Anyway, we're not dealing with names today. You can tell me or not tell me <laughs> yours. Or a fake one is fine. Um, if I need to talk to you, I'd prefer something other than, hey, you. Um, either way, you all come highly recommended, so thank you. First order of business, we have a long drive ahead of us. Uh, I have a cooler of water in the car, some soft drinks. I don't drink coffee, but there is a diner on the corner. Also a bathroom in there in case you need to go before uh, we go. Second order, uh, money. Just to be clear that the agreed upon fee of $500 per man is agreed upon. Uh, if that's acceptable. Yeah, I have a thought. Y yeah. How about you give me and Man Mountain 750 each and send Uncle Fester there home? He's not oh! He's useless. Is that true? You, you, di you didn't bring a gun? I didn't think I'd need one. <laughs> it's a protection job basic common sense that you need a gun to protect your employer. I mean, duh. He's dead weight. He's just a third wheel without a piece. I'll oh, my one. God. If I need a gun, I'll use one of his. Oh, goddamn. How do you picture that happening exactly? Well, I guess I'm going to take it from you. Oh, goddamn. That is just special. Oh, take. How are you going to take one of my guns? Come on, Billy Jackoff. Take my gun from me. The Walking Dead versus Breaking Bad. The Walking Dead versus Breaking Bad. Who is my money on? Uh, I love The Walking Dead. I love The Walking Dead. Uh, I love Mike. I love Breaking Bad. Uh, Spoiler alert, Negan kicked Simon's ass in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Spoiler alert. Oh, uh, shit. Shit. Fuck it. I'm going with Mike. Fuck that. I'm, I'm
I'm going to rock with Mike. I know he's older. I know he's the smaller guy there. But I'm rocking with Mike. Fuck that. I love The Walking Dead. Don't get me wrong. Big Walking Dead fan. Big Walking Dead fan. But I'm going to rock with Mike on this. Let's go, Mike. Yeah. Make it easy. You can make it not so easy. Sure thing. You got it. What the son of a What the fuck? Let me see what you got. Yeah, yeah. A guy like you. I'll bet you would have an ankle against you? Wait, wait, wait. I gotta see it one more time. That shit was so fast. You got it. What the? Son of a... Mike is a fucking god. He is a fucking God! Now that's impressive. So many guns, I don't know which one to use. <laughs> God damn! You want one? <laughs> you big pussy! You big fucking pussy! <laughs> Let's go. But we need three guys. No, no, we don't. No, you don't. Come on, let's go. All you need is Mike. All you need is Mike. Get your bitch ass in the car, you goddamn fucking <sighs> simp. He'll be fine. And now that I'm doing the job alone, I get the full 1500 We agree upon that? Looking good. Just going for a little ride. Sound like he got a diaper on. Here, let me get that for you. Yo. Chuck wants to be this big time Just lawyer. I know he can afford to get another damn car for Jimmy. Oh, crap. What is it? I must have left my stupid phone on last night. It's dead. Well, could you put it in the truck? Uh, yeah. God. Damn! Oh, he is partners with him, but God damn! They shut all the power, all the cell phones for Chuck. And he coming to work in this goddamn piece of shit car. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great stuff. They couldn't send a damn limo? Or a spaceship? God damn! Good to see you, my friend. Welcome home. All right, you didn't need to do all of this. Oh, I couldn't have. Chuck got some pull. Okay, I see what y'all talking about. She's the only one that helped him carry the goddamn files. Now that's a rider. Raising that number, HHM doesn't view that as ethical, as we discussed. But what we could do is arrange an of counsel fee for the time that you've already put in, time that you spent building the case. I think we could go as high as twenty thousand. That too will work. Great. Give us an official invoice, and I'll have Helen cut you a check. Oh, got it right here. And I'd like to use 312 as an office, as right next to Chuck's. I'm sorry? 
312. <clears throat> I know it's got that view that the clients love, but you know what? That's a waste of space. The waiting area by the kitchen is just as good. Well, come on, guys. I mean, they need an office. Can I have the room? Everybody? Ah, oh, go to fuck shit. You go to fuck shit. You go to fuck shit. You go to fuck shit. Howard, don't start your shit. Jimmy. Jimmy, I'm just going to say it. You're not working here. What are you talking about? You said this case is a slam dunk. Yes. We want the case. Uh, we don't want... Um, you. You. The case is all we want. They don't want you. What kind of fucking... What kind of fucking shit is this? I, a case that I found that I made happen? And you don't want me? Why in Christ not? But I know that you hate me, Howard. I'm sorry. You better believe feeling goes both ways. But I'm willing to set that aside to work with you on this. Why can't you do the same for me? What is it that you can't let go of? Huh? What slight did I make to your fine, upstanding character that you can't forgive? A majority decision has been made by myself and the partners. All due respect to you, Chuck. We are not taking in any new associates into the firm. Bullshit new associates. This is Someone fucked up. With a case like this, you beg them to be partner. Tell me why. You didn't want me then, okay? You don't want me now? Explain it. Come on, motherfucker. I don't know what to say. Say something, Chuck. I am very disappointed. I really think you should reconsider. I'm sorry. Damn right. No, I think it's best if Jimmy takes the up counsel fee. We could probably up it a bit. Keep in mind, you will be well compensated in the back end. It's easy money, Jimmy. No reason not to take it. I fucking hate guys okay. like this, man. I'm not giving you my case. Damn right. Take, take the motherfucker. Clients. What a lying, miserable pig fucker you are. I will burn the whole thing to the ground before I give it to you. Okay, then. That's your decision. Good luck to you moving forward. Boy, the hate is fucking real. <laughs> what the hell just happened? You know, a lot of people go through this in the workforce. When you're trying to move up the ladder or you want to get a promotion and you do everything right, you come to work every day, you don't miss no days, you, you work overtime, you don't lay out, you know, and you still get passed up on promotions. A lot of people go through the same shit every day because you got a motherfucking hater in charge. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something. You can't please a hater. All right? You can't please them. That's just like, that's just our curse in a human race to hate each other. And now, now, we don't, baby. And now, now, we don't, baby. And now, now, we don't, we hear, baby. And now, we hear. in the pool, I'm swimming for about an hour. Well, 
I do this every day. I be hot on the throttle and I'm pursuing the cake. Man, I pay no attention to what these losers will say. It took you that long for something I could do in a day. Took you that long for something I could do in a week. Took you that long for something I could do in my sleep. I go so hard and homie, I don't 